Hello folks, today is Saturday and I just want to give a couple of shout outs today to some of my clients and some friends that are doing absolutely amazing. I want to talk about nutrition. I want to talk about the world of nutrition and how chaotic it has become. And I want to talk about mental strength. Let's do it. So first off, I just, like you can see I'm wearing, I'm sporting my Thane Dunn and the Cadillac Kings hats. Thane brought this over for me and for Julie, brought us each one of these hats. Thane Dunn, if you don't know who Thane Dunn is, Thane Dunn is the number one Elvis tribute artist on the planet. And not only, so here's the thing. What's interesting about Thane Dunn, Thane Dunn puts on an incredible energy-packed, performance. He puts on an amazing show. His wife, Melly, who I first saw many years ago, was a, was a background singer, singing harmony, singing background for uh, Thane Dunn and the Cadillac Kings. And most, and then recently she started doing her own, she still sings harmony, still sings, sings uh, background um, for Thane Dunn and the Cadillac Kings, but she also does her own thing where she covers a lot of the old school country, the real country female singers, Tammy Wynette, and, and uh, they're just, like you, you have to, you have to go and see one of their shows to appreciate the show. She's doing a show herself coming up soon here in Moncton, New Brunswick. Uh, she's doing one in Ontario as well. If you have a chance to get out and see her, please. If you're a fan of real old school country music, then you will absolutely love. What, now, now, she's also bringing some, she's singing some Whitney Houston, she's singing some um, Celine Dion, I think she said, she's singing some um, Anne Mur, like on and on and on and on. She's an incredible singer, and I encourage everybody to get out there and, uh, and see her. Anyways, a few, about a year ago now, Thane reached out to me and asked me if I could help him to get into better shape and to lose some weight for his show. One of his, you know, he's, he's got this persona on stage where he does do some of first of all Thane is just an incredible singer an incredible performer never mind the fact that he does Elvis perfectly uh, he's just an incredible singer with a, with a gifted voice he's, he's a gifted entertainer and he came to me and the first thing that I thought was I just want to help him to be able to perform a little bit better and what's interesting is there are a lot of local celebrities that come to me who want to perform better and they understand and realize that in order to perform better, they need to lose some weight and get in shape. So I helped them with that. Um, Jason Cyrus, who is a, a local celebrity, well, local, he's a, he's a national treasure, um, also came to me, was 300 plus pounds and lost almost 60 pounds, 50 some pounds uh, with me. And I'm still coaching him off and on to this day. I still help him out on a regular basis. And Thane and Melly, I help their family, help them, I help both of them um, with their diet, and nutrition, and their exercise plans, and I am their, I guess you'd call me the, kind of their life coach, and their fitness and nutrition coach, and anyways, I just want to say how proud I am of both Thane and Jason Cyrus for not only losing the weight, but for keeping it off. Thane, um, there was a, a, a newspaper article written in St. John from the St., I think it was a St. John paper, that wrote an article about his weight loss, and um, how... You know, he just looks amazing. His show is as, as high energy as it was. It's even more high energy. And I think this goes back to what I've always said, that when you are in shape, when you're healthy, you can just be the better version of yourself. You can be the best version of yourself. So for Thane, you know, him wanting to perform at his best on stage, he reached out to me. Jason Cyrus wanting to perform at his best reached out to me. I spoke to another client, Dr. Brent Howley, the other day and I've had him on our program for about a about a month now I guess and what was interesting about Dr. Brent is Brent you know anyone that knows him he doesn't have a lot of weight to lose he just wants to put on some muscle and and, and feel better and look better and look strong and vibrant and what he said was that since he's been on this program he's actually a better doctor he actually work is better he performs better at work he has more clarity of mind in all aspects of his life that is the gift when you're on a proper nutrition plan. Now, I just want to talk briefly. I watched a video the other day. My good friend, Jacqueline Phillips, 
it's funny, Jack, Jacqueline, well, if, if, if you don't know her, check out her Instagram account, Jackie Phillips, Jacqueline Phillips. She is an elite athlete in every sense of the word. She's probably the most popular, most famous bikini athlete ever from the Maritimes and is an incredible person and is a straight shooter. And I love how she doesn't hold back. She's very, very smart, super, super smart. And that is what impresses me most about her. Now, she went on Instagram and had a, a story about isogenics. And, of course, she... <laughs> I feel for you, Jackie, because she knows exactly how I feel when I feel the wrath from people when you say certain things. Um, isogenics, those, those folks, they're kind of culty. It's almost like CrossFit in a way where if you, if you say something bad about it, you're going to feel the wrath from the, the masses. And she kind of felt that. But she didn't back down. She stood strong and it, she, she spewed facts. And you can't knock somebody who's telling the truth. And the bottom line is, Jacqueline has been around this industry not quite as long as, as I have because I'm older than her. But she's been around this industry for a long time. She's a smart girl. And she knows, she's a very intelligent woman, she knows that a balanced nutrition plan, balanced nutrition with proper carbs, proper proteins, proper fats, and the right amounts, the right times of the day with exercise and water. She understands that that's the key. That's the secret to it all. There is no secret. But you can't replace food with a powder. No matter what anyone says, no matter what anyone says, you cannot replace food with a pill or a powder or a potion. It's just, I've been saying this for 30 plus years. And guess what? I have been proven right time and time and time and time and time and time and time, and time again. Can you lose weight using Isogenics, yes, you can. Can you lose weight on Atkins? Yes, you can. Can you lose weight on Paleo? Yes, you can. Can you lose weight on Keto? Yes, you can. Is it sustainable and healthy long-term? No, none of them are. None of them ever will be, but there's going to be more that'll come and go. It's the diet industry. This is what happens. People want a quick fix. They want something that's going to help them lose weight. They go into a caloric deficit. They lose some weight. Then they scream, yay, this is the greatest diet on earth. Everybody should jump on the bandwagon. Everybody jumps on the bandwagon. They lose a little bit of weight and then they gain it all back. Ask anybody, I've said this a million times, I'll say it again. Ask anybody how they're making out today on the Atkins diet. No one will, none, no, zero. No one's on the Atkins diet. They were, there was millions of people on it and they lost some weight and they wrecked their health and they gained all the way back. And then they waited a long time. And guess what happened? Keto came out. Same thing, different name. The same thing's happening. People are starting to see that the same thing, they're wrecking their health. It is not good for you. It is not good for you. Can you lose some weight? Yes, because you're in a caloric deficit. How do you lose weight? You reduce your calories. You burn more than you take in. That's it, the end, that's all. Now, if we're talking about transforming a body and building a body and doing that kind of a thing, it's a completely different story. You do need the right amount of proteins. You need the right proteins in the right amounts at the right times. You need to eat a lot more, more often to fuel the breakdown from the workouts and things. It's a different science. We're not talking about the same thing. Weight loss and building a body, transforming a body are two different things. If you, if you just want to lose weight, I can help anybody lose weight. I helped a fighter lose 24 pounds in 24 hours. Weight loss is easy. Sustaining weight loss, not so much. Maintaining your health while doing it, not so easy. So again... This whole video was a shout out to my clients who just get it. And it's interesting how when you have people that their bodies, they need to, they need to, you know, their bodies is what they do for a living to a certain degree. They're up on a stage, they're being viewed by a lot of people and they need that energy on stage. They need to perform at their best. They reach out to me. When we have doctors reaching out to me because they know that I do not spew bull. What I say is factual. What I say has been working forever and ever. What I say I'm doing myself, walking the walk. Speaking of which, tomorrow is my way in. And here's what I'm going to do. Flat out tell everybody. If I lose another four pounds, so I lost 11 pounds the first week, as everybody knows. And I'm hoping to lose at least another four. If I've lost four or five pounds this week, then I'm going to celebrate with a full throttle and hopefully a steak dinner tomorrow night at my friend's house. We'll see. They actually, we were invited out to our good friend's house, uh, Richard and Rebecca, and uh, they always have incredible food. They always have incredible meals for us. Uh, I'm hoping it's steak. Please let it be steak. But I have to make sure that I have done all the right things up until that point, which so far I have. So far I have been perfect, knock on wood. And I think I've lost another four pounds. Pretty sure I've lost another four pounds, maybe, some, maybe more. 
I will let you know tomorrow when I do my weigh-in. But the bottom line is, I want to give a shout out to everybody who's doing it right. I want to give a shout out to all the people who understand and finally get it that balanced nutrition is the key. It's the way. It's the only way. It's the only thing that will work long term. It's the only thing that is sustainable. It's the only thing that has always worked and will always work forever and ever. Amen. You need carbohydrates. You need proteins. You need fats. You need them in the right combinations at the right times and the right amounts for sure, depending on your goal. But nobody, no one on earth can argue with me about the fact that a body needs all the nutrients. Your body needs carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. It needs water. It needs micronutrients. No one's going to argue with me that we all should eat some more vegetables and more fresh fruit. We should all do that. We should all eat clean proteins and clean carbohydrates and clean healthy fats. No one's going to argue with me about that. And we should all move more. We should all get some exercise in on a daily basis if we can. No one can argue with me about that. We all need to control stress. We all need to lower our cortisol levels so that we can sleep better. We need better sleep and better quality sleep. No one can argue with me about that. So thank you to all of you who get it. This is not rocket science. Yes, it's science. But it's not rocket science. Stop trying to overcomplicate it. Stop looking for a quick fix. Stop looking for a pill, a powder, a potion that will get you to the promised land. It won't. Yes, you will lose some weight on the scale and the scale lies. When you lose that weight, most of it's water. Some of it's muscle, which is not a good thing. Some might be fat, but very little if you're on a powder diet. So let's be real. Let's get real. We need food. You need food in your body. You need proper nutrients. You need proper hydration. You need proper sleep. Can we all just get along and agree with that? Please stop the arguments. The, the industry has gotten insane lately. It's gotten absolutely insane. The truth, the truth is all people want. Why do people continuously believe the lies from these marketing companies and these big companies that are trying to make millions, that are making millions and billions of dollars off of us, off of our weaknesses? Discipline is required. Consistency is required. Focus is required. Those people hate those words, but that's the truth. You need all of those things to succeed in life, and you need all those things to succeed on a diet, nutrition plan, healthy. Look, I'm spitting all over the place. I'm so pumped up. I don't even drink coffee. Imagine this on coffee. <sighs> okay, calm now. Let's all just get along. Let's all eat healthier foods on a regular basis. Let's all just crush the water. Let's all get to the gym, yoga studio, whatever, whatever you want to do. Get some exercise in. Let's love more, hate less. That's it. That's all for today, guys. I will let you know tomorrow how I made out with uh, my diet. If you want to order my book, there's a link in the description below. Grow through what you go through. I'm quite proud of that book. It's the book of my life story. A lot of people don't know my life story, but it's all there for the taking. Thank you for ordering the book. If you'd like to have a nutrition plan, there's an email down below that you can email me and I would be happy to give you a nutrition plan, a workout plan, a combination of both, life coaching, whatever you need. I am here for you. I'm at your beck and call. So link down below. Have a look. Have a great day. Take care, guys.